with Darren Davis uh, talking about elasticate in the new Acolyte Pro 8 metre whip. Uh, you've been fishing it extensively, haven't you, and tra testing prototypes in Ireland and giving them some punishment? Yeah, been catching uh, lots of roach and swinging lots of fish sort of up to six ounces on them. And then also add some bonus hybrids as well, up to three pound with the elastic through the number two. That's the bit we're talking about now, elasticating these things. It's something that I've never done. Being a washed up specimen hunter, I don't fish whips. There's a simple way of doing it, isn't there, Darren, which yeah. is quite common. Um, basically, there's two ways to elasticate it. One way, we're using aqua bungee here, just to, just to show you, which is quite a good elastic through that number two. Um, just so through the number two? Just through the number two. So basically, when you get the pole, take the flick tip out, in the, in the packet, you'll get a bush that fits straight in. Right. Thread your bungee through, attach the Dacron connector, and then on the female end is literally just probably four inches of twisted elastic. Just when it bottoms out, it gives you a little bit of extra power. Okay. And just lassoed onto the bung, nice and neat and simple. And that bung is just below the diameter uh, of the blank. That's right, so fits it fits in there really nice and snug. Right, um, so that goes... Really smooth. Right, so that goes through the telescopic number three. That's it. And doesn't cause any interference. Doesn't interfere at all with it. Right. And then you've got sort of nearly a metre of elastic that works perfectly. Fine, but there's no adjustment in that. And the new system... That's right. Um, ...is a bit more complicated. Yeah. And that's really the interesting bit to set up and show. So with the whip comes all the little goodies that you need to do this other system. Right, let me just show you how to do the, the elastic through this adjustable system. So we start off, take your number two. The, the bush that's supplied fits straight in. Right. Like that. And that's a nice interference fit. Nice interference fit, yeah. Okay, it's not going to come back out, but it's lodged in there. All I normally do, I'm going to use bungee elastic. Tie an overhand knot in the elastic to start with. Just wet it, pull it tight, and then just trim that. Take the Dacron connector, I like the green ones. Feed that through, and again, Lasso it onto the elastic. Right. Just wet it and... Slide it down behind the knot. Slide it down behind the knot. Right. And then pull the bead to cover the knot. And I just like to trim the little tag end here. So it's neat. Right, so... To get it working through the adjustable bush is straightforward. Okay. Run it through the tip of the pole. The nice thing is you can keep it a little bit loose at this stage. Just trim it so it's easier to handle. Then what we've got is this, the, this is the adjustable part of the bush. So we put right. this on first. So that one with the hole through it, you've used on the standard kit. On the standard. And this is the new setup. And this is the new setup. And this little bead actually fits neatly into the, re into the recess here. And I'll show you how it works. Basically, feed your elastic into here. So that then goes in the same into the female part of the pole. Right. And again, that's below the diameter of the number three. So there's no interference there. No interference. Take an off cut line. This is a little bit tricky, but just take an off cut four pound line. And then the smaller end of the tulip, just feed that line. Cool, no wonder we both need glasses. Yeah. Nowadays, mate. So what you're doing is you're just creating a loop. Yeah. As you can see, you can take the elastic then, trap it, and pull it through that bead, like so. Right. And that lets you then tension, pull the, pull the elastic through it. You can see it's getting tighter. And it, and it lets you tension the elastic. Okay. So, right. 
And then what I normally do is I normally tie a loop in that to stop obviously the elastic pulling through. Just a figure of eight. Whip that off. Trim the So what you've got then is that can't pull back, that can't pull back through that bead. Okay. Yeah. Nice and neat. The elastic set quite soft now, Peter. Right. So it's more or less identical to that more one. More or less identical, but, but you've got adjustment. You've got adjustment. If you're going somewhere and there's small fish and you want it set soft, leave it as it is. If the fish are a little bit bigger and you're swinging them, you can you can literally just pull it and tighten it. And that'll hang down within the number three and not interfere. And not interfere. And, okay. you, and you fish with it like that in the session. The end of the session, you can just then return it back to its softest and you've, you haven't wasted leave your elastic. Under, okay, you don't leave it under unnecessary tension. No, and it's okay. as simple as that. It just gives you that option of tension in your elastic while it's in the pole. And you fish these whips for speed on your matches? Yeah, for speed, um, when you're catching numbers of small fish. Um, the nice thing about this whip is it is take apart as well. So if you're fishing four or five metres to hand with a rig and the fish just move out a little bit further, you can add a section and take a section off. It's got that versatility with it. Okay, that's your two elasticated formats. Yeah. There's another format which we'll have a look at next, which is the flick tip. And this is the popular and common method of attaching your whole rig straight to the flick tip. Yeah, so let's, let's take it that this, this line um, is going back to your pole rig. All you need is two bits of silicon. Um, so really, all you, those two bits of silicon, you have right. one... Low diameter, fine bore. Yeah. Yeah. Thread that on first. So that's on your, on your rig. Yeah. And then just tie a simple overhand loop. And the other bit of silicon, you th just thread that onto the top of the pole. What's the, what's the, the differential then? What's the advantage between the flick tip and the elasticated tip. Obviously, if you're on the bigger fish, this helps. But if you're just bag bagging up on real small stuff, even bleak or something like that, you just use the flick tip. If you're you? just if you're just aiming for bleak and you were sort of guaranteed that your catch is going to be small fish, then I probably prefer the flick tip. It's a little bit more direct. Um, you're probably fishing with finer hooks, and it just sets <coughs> the hook a little bit better, really. So so you thread the first bit of elastic. Silicone, Silicone on, on yeah. like that. And then all you do is your rig, you just form a loop and push that loop through your fixed loop like that. And basically lasso it behind that bit of rubber. Okay. So it's lassoed on there and then twist the line so it spirals on. And then push the last bit of silicon over just to trap it. Okay. And that is it, and it just... And that's 100% secure? 100% secure, it, it can't come off. It's always under tension, you know, it works, right. it works and, perfectly. And that spiralled section is diffusing the attachment, it's spreading it over that little distance. It is, and yeah. And cushioning the effect. The two methods, the elasticated one for bigger fish and the straight onto the flick tip, Darren's method, proven and tested.